drawing the structure of sodium iodide, the Lewis structure, is not too bad once you realize that Na is a metal. It comes from the left side of the staircase and is in the group called alkali metals. Iodine is a non-metal. It's in the halogen group and comes from the right-hand side of the staircase. A metal and a non-metal will always combine to give you an ionic compound where the metal gives away its electrons to the non-metal. Let's see how that might work. Sodium is in group one, so it brings one valence electron. I'm gonna write its symbol here with one dot. One valence electron. Iodine is in group 17. All of these atoms bring seven valence electrons with them. I remember that because it's group 17. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven valence electrons. I liked to spread them out northeast, southwest before doubling them up, but that's a grade 12 thing. Now, the, the sodium is a metal and wants to give away its electrons to something more electronegative like a nonmetal. So that one electron is going to move from sodium to iodine. Sodium will be left with no valence electrons. That makes it stable. And iodine will have a full eight. That is also stable by the octet rule. This is perfect, one of each, and they'll both be stable. Na will have lost an electron. Because of that, it becomes a plus one ion because you're losing a negative. Minusing a negative actually gives you a positive. These square brackets represent the fact that it is an ion with a charge. And there's no dots around it because it gave away its only outer electron. This iodine brought seven electrons with it and took one from sodium. That gives it a charge as well of minus one. Together, these ions are attracted because opposite charges attract and make an ionic bond. This is the Lewis structure. You're good at this. I believe in you. Best of luck.